Hi, I'm Ben Secret, and today we're going to be looking at how we can analyse an image and subsequently apply its look to another image. So here we've got our layer set up, so our destination image, which has already been fully colour processed and retouched, is sitting on the left, and this is on the top layer, and we've got our source image on the bottom layer on the right. So create a solid colour adjustment layer, and this is going to be set to 50% grey which is 128 on the red, green and blue. So the first thing we're going to do is match tone and contrast. And to make this easier, we're going to turn our solid colour layers blending mode to colour. And now what the solid colour layer is doing is letting us see both images just in terms of luminance. We can also drag our marquee tool over the image on the left to look at where the black and white points start and end and get a rough idea of how much contrast and we can do the same with our unretouched image, and you can see we've got a much broader tonal range. So the first thing to do is go down to our bottom layer again, and add the Curves Adjustment layer. And using our Marquee tool again just to select the part of the image we want to analyse, and looking at the histogram, I can drag the black point up until it's about in line with the R on the word Source, which is roughly where our other image's black point was. And then we can do the same with the white point, just dragging that down. And we can kind of see our retouched image has a much brighter feel to it with deeper shadows. So there must be some kind of contrast boost in there too. And we're going to set our curves layer to uh, luminosity blending, just so we're not affecting the colours in any way. And now I'm just going to experiment with various S curves until we find something that roughly approximates the kind of shadow and highlight detail we can see in our retouched image. And now just toggling our solid colour layer's visibility, we can see already we're quite a bit close to the finished look. And the next thing we're going to analyse is colour. So turn the solid colour layer's visibility back on and change its blending mode to luminosity. And what this does is gives us a colour map of both our images. And we can see straight away it's quite a bit more blue in the destination image. And that blue seems mostly to be in the shadows. So creating the curves layer on top of our last one, and this time leave it on normal blending, and go to our blue channel. And here we can just experiment with raising the black points of the blue channel until we get a similar amount of blue coming through in our shadows. And we can see that blue in the retouched image is contrasted with some quite strong yellows. So for this we're just going to try taking our white points in the blue channel down a bit, thereby adding yellow to the highlights. And we can balance our colours further by going to the red channel and just adding a touch more cyan in the blues, and we can do that by dragging the black point in the red channel slightly over to the right. And we can add a bit more warmth to the yellows by dragging the white point in the red channel over to the left. And this is something you just get used to if you use curves a lot, and how different colours mix across different channels. And if we toggle the visibility in our solid colour layer again, you can see we're much closer to the finished look already. And there's one more thing we can analyse and match, and that's saturation. And for this we're going to create a saturation mask. So select the top layer, and add a selective colour adjustment layer. And now what we're going to do, is go through all the colours from red to magenta and take the black down to minus 100. And then we're just going to go to the whites, neutrals and blacks and take the black up to plus 100. And this has to be done in absolute mode as opposed to relative mode. And this strange looking black and white image is actually a saturation map and it shows us in white where the colours are fully saturated and in dark where the colours are fully desaturated. And we can see straight away our retouched image on the left has much lower saturation than our image on the right. And there are much more sophisticated ways we can control image saturation all across the highlights and shadows, which we'll probably come to in future tutorials. But for now, we're just going to add a hue saturation layer right to the bottom beneath our curves layers. And we're just going to bring the saturation down until both images roughly look the same. And as you can see, if we turn the saturation map off, we've done a pretty good job of copying the look of the image on the left to the image on the right, 
without having to be too scientific about anything. And doing this regularly with images you find online or in magazines is a great way to understand how it looks put together and how you can do most things with just a few curves layers.